Welcome back to my channel you guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing and doing a makeup tutorial using the new Huda Beauty Cocky Haze palette. These came out a week ago or something like that, maybe two weeks ago, in a few different colors and I decided to try out the Cocky Haze one because I think it looks really nice. So I wanted to do a little review and also test it out, do a little makeup look. So this is the look that I did. If you guys want to see my thoughts on this palette and how I got this look, then please keep on watching. We're just doing the eyes today, so I already have my face makeup on. If you want a tutorial, I have a few up on how I do my base. If you want a new one, let me know. I would love to do that. But let's get into the eyes. I'm using, of course, the Huda Beauty Cocky Haze palette, this little guy. This is really cute. When I saw it, I thought I would I just have to do a little video. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna jump in and I'll give you my thoughts on the palette as I'm using it. I don't really know what type of look I want to do, but I'm gonna figure out something that's gonna look good. So let's just get into this. I'm firstly going in with this shade right here, and I'm basically just gonna put that all over my crease, and then we'll see where we go from there. Brush I'm using is a Morphe M514 brush. There's not too much kickback from the palette, a little bit I always dust off. I like to start by stippling on the shadow where I want it, and the shape that I want it, and then I'll go in and blend it out. It's just so much easier. And if you know me, you know I want like a cat eye look because that's always what I want. I have it in the shape that I want, so I'm just gonna blend out the edges really carefully. I really like the pigmentation. It went on really beautifully. It has a little bit like of a sparkle to it, but a very, very subtle one. So I'm just blending the edges really carefully. I don't want to drag the color too far up. I just want to diffuse the edges a little bit. Okay, next up, I'm going to use a little bit of this shade right here, just at the top to kind of blend in with that shade, but so far so good. It blended really nicely and it's really, really pigmented, so I'm liking this palette so far. This brush is a bigger one. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills A10 and it's just like a big fluffy brush. Taking a little bit of this shade and then just at the top right here. Blending it in with the other shade. I like to do this just to get a nice like gradient look. Okay, so that's good for now. And then if I want to, I can go back with that darker shade and a little bit more of this if I want to deepen it up later. But for now, I think this looks good. I added some powder underneath my eyes because I don't want the eyeshadow to fall down. Continuing, I'm going to use this shade right here with this small Morphe brush. This is the M507 and I'm going to apply this in the crease, in the deepest part, just to deepen everything up. I'm really liking this palette so far. Everything is blending beautifully. It's creamy. It's pigmented. I'm going in with that shade and just blending it in. I'm basically just lightly blending the edges as well. I want there to be just a nice gradient blend from the darker to the lighter shades. This is blending really nice. I love this shade. It's like a really neutral, not too warm, not too cool. I'm taking a new brush. This is the Marc Jacobs brush. It doesn't have a number. And just a little bit of these two shades that I used in the beginning tiny amount and I'm just gonna blend that darker shade in a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit too harsh at the top so I need something to make it a little bit smoother so just right over that edge where everything meets like where the darker shade and the lighter ones meet just get a nice little blend Mm, looks good. It's time for the fun part, the sparkle. So far it looks uh, really good. I love the matte shades. They blended beautifully. Everything is looking really nice. So I think I'm going to cut my crease with some concealer and then we're going to choose one of these shimmer shades to apply. I'm going to try to cut my crease on camera, but if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I cut the crease and now it's time for the shimmer shade. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but I think this one is like a light gold. I think I'm going to start off with this and then I might add a little bit of the darker gold like on the edges. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm starting off with that one. So I'm using the same eyeshadow brush. Uh, it's not wet or anything. It does have a little bit of the concealer left on it that I used to cut the crease. So let's see. 
I didn't set the concealer or anything, so I'm just going in with the shimmer right away. It's going on really nicely. It has a lot of glitter in it. I'm going to try with wetting the brush. The color doesn't change. It just looks a lot more like metallic. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. That looks really nice. I'm going to add in a little bit of the darker gold shade. Mostly like here in the center. Just to see if it looks better. I add like a little depth to it. It looks so metallic now that I wet the brush, but it looks really nice without like wetting the brush as well, so it works both ways, which is what I like. I think an eyeshadow shouldn't need to be wet to look like good, but of course if it looks better with a wet brush, why not? Before the lower lash line, I'm just going to take the darkest brown shade and trace around the cut crease. I like to do this because it just makes it pop a little bit more. Just do this carefully because you don't want it to be like a thick line just want to kind of trace around it with the darkest shade very very lightly and with a fine little brush I'm gonna use these two shades right here the first ones that I used on the lower lashes to just smoke it out and I don't want to go too low you know focusing it firstly really close to the lash line and on the outer part and then dragging it in and there's barely anything on the brush i'm gonna go back into that darkest shade and with this i'm just gonna apply it really really close to the lash line and only on the outer part of the eye so just kind of as close as i can to deepen up that outer corner I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm just going to line the eye so that it looks better when I apply the lashes. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. This liner is from Sosu. It's the Eye Voltage Liner and it's really nice and black. And I'm just going like on the lash line. This will make it look like a lot thicker. It will make it easier for the lashes to blend in. Finally time for lashes. I'm going to apply the ABH lashes in a lengthy and that is exactly what they are. They are so long but I think they're going to look good with this look. Just in my brows quickly off camera and to finish off I'm just going to apply a little lip. I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner in. Which shade is this? Um, oh my god I can't find this shade. Sugar Glass. And I'm going to top that off with the Deck of Scarlet lip gloss in Champagne Dreams. Just a nice gold lip gloss. Like, so nice. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the way it turned out. The smoky eye is everything looks so good um yeah my final thoughts on the palette i really like it i think it performed really nicely what do you guys think it looks really well it blended beautifully it was pigmented it was buttery the shades blended together nicely and all in all i really like it i've been loving more and more these smaller palettes because if you're traveling or if you just don't want something huge these are perfect so even though it's like a small palette, it's not a middle palette, you still get nine shades, you get some shimmers, some mattes, you get a nice size mirror. So I really, really like this. I think you can create a lot of different looks with this. You can do shimmer looks, you can do all matte looks, and I really like it. The packaging is beautiful, and the shades perform really well. The mirror is a big plus, because if you're traveling, you don't need another mirror than this. It's really big, and it's clear. You can definitely use this to do your makeup. If you're thinking about buying one of these, I would definitely say go for it. Find the one that you like the most, and go for it, or buy more than one if that's what you want. But my final thoughts are definitely that it's worth it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what else you want to see, and I'll see you in my next video.